Hi everyone, uh, North Jersey Gardening here. I'm um, giving you another update uh, today. It's a little gloomy and dark outside, actually a little bit cold. Um, it's Easter, so happy Easter to everybody. Um, but this is an update on the plants. I, I told you I sowed uh, a while back um, where a bunch of the beans did not even sprout out right here. I sowed these guys. Let me read the date on this one. February 26th. Um, I had some of them that I showed you last time sprout out. They're doing great over here and over here. But uh, the beans, um, actually all the beans, uh, the old ones, and the two packages that I opened uh, that I had purchased recently, and these two pots um, also did not sprout out. Um, so I was planning to... Um, uh, put some uh, sow something else in their place tomatoes uh, but I changed my mind <laughs> I'm gonna put the uh, new tomatoes in a different pots so, and I was gonna just fluff up the soil and replant maybe more beans or peas and um, carrots um, and other vegetables in here uh, but I'm actually gonna uh, chuck the soil, empty out all the soil. I already looked at some of the beans uh, that I had sown in there. The seeds are all mushy and soft, um, no roots or shoots or anything coming out of them. They're all big mush. So I'm gonna chuck the soil uh, with a big container here, re amend it a little bit, um, and start planting fresh um, in these um, empty pots um, from the vegetables that I just mentioned to you. Uh, but from what I saw on um, February 26th, I'll show you. Um, I don't know if you remember last time, there was one yellow crookneck zucchini coming out of this guy. <laughs> this one with the long stem coming all the way over to the side. It was the only one uh, that had sprouted out of this uh, little container. But look, um, uh, three more joined him, two nice big ones. And one little one that I'm, I think I'm gonna remove uh, completely from here, so he's not he he has no chance of growing. The leaves on the other guys are nice and broad and long. Um, they're gonna uh, uh, take away all the nutrition from him. So I actually think I'm gonna pull him right out and maybe up pot the other three in bigger pots. But there's one big one coming out here, another one here that sprouted out and like. Uh, a week and a half to two, where this guy was the only one uh, that had sprouted out. He's covering two other containers, so I have to up-pot these guys also. Um, so here I had, um, let me see, I have the two eggplant containers. Um, it was the Black Knight eggplant, and only this little guy just sprouted the other day. Um, so I'm gonna keep these two pots untouched see maybe they need more time to come out but they took a long time February 26 um, um, so a little over a month for them to sprout out that's too long and all these beans two different maybe even three different kinds of beans none of them uh, came out some of them were really old I was given to them they were not uh, properly stored and I kind of knew I was taking a chance but I wanted to try, they're from overseas. Uh, but these two here, uh, the Blue Lake Bush Bean and the Garden Bean, let's see, come around, uh, the Crooked Egg Zucchini. Uh, yeah, they were new, from a new package, new container um, that I had purchased from the store along with them, everything else uh, did not sprout out um, either. So I wonder maybe the soil, the uh, mix I have is not, um, good for the beans I maybe will change it a little bit uh, we'll see but this is the other type of um, squ uh, the green squash zucchini I uh, it had not sprouted I um, um, at all uh, let me see I had it uh, sown along with the yellow zucchini and nothing came out of this container till uh, a few days later a few days after I showed you that video where the only crookneck zucchini was coming out and then all of a sudden uh, uh, three popped out of this guy and now they're all grown with nice big broad leaves uh, and it look like they're overcrowding each other three of them but looking nice and healthy all three of them so I'm gonna 
give each one its own container later and over here I showed you these guys before okra they're doing still really great um, I think I'm gonna move these um, all together but into a deeper container let the roots uh, spread out and go deep uh, let me update you on the other guys uh, before I start sowing I'm gonna uh, sow tomatoes and all kinds of vegetables today and amend the soil um, but um, I uppotted the watercress. I don't know if you remember the watercress. Uh, it was in a tiny little yogurt container. I uppotted it and it's going crazy, growing much better, healthier. Uh, big, broader leaves. Um, but still, it's too cold to put anything in the ground. Uh, we have at least another month or so. But let me update you on everything else also. Um, I don't know if you remember the peppers and tomatoes um, and the scarlet kale and this guy here that I thought I I had done something wrong brought it too close to the light bulb and burned it off this is the moringa tree and this was actually the side shoot that was growing uh, from the part that uh, was a little bit uh, burned off by being too close to the light so that one uh, died down, but the side shoot that came out next to it is doing much better. So I've been avoiding the uh, um, light bulb and just keeping it under natural sunlight, even though we're not getting much of it. Uh, but it's doing good and I'm happy about it. It's not growing nice and tall. They say Moringa grow really quickly. Uh, and this one so far is doing okay, but um, I'm hoping he will get a little bit stronger. I'm still being very careful. Uh, with him and I up, up potted him also. He's in a nice long um, Deep container uh, They say moringa trees uh, create a long tap root um, So I provided that for him and I'm being careful uh, Trying not to overwater or underwater and get, keeping him in the Sun as much as I can and a little bit of warmth at night So so far so good with this guy. I actually I so maybe 12 moringa seeds and this is the only survivor we'll try again maybe um, in a month or so when the weather is warmer alright but a quick update on the other guys you know about uh, this is the black uh, from Tula tomato he was growing nice and tall I um, cut the tip a little bit and he's growing all kinds of um, side shoots let me see even at the bottom I planted him uh, deeper um, in the pot and he's loving it and he's growing tall even though I cut the tip off and he's growing all kinds of little uh, side shoots uh, that's the black from Tula and this is his brother the other black from Tula I didn't tip uh, this guy, I left the top off, and he's actually just starting to uh, produce little buds. They want to start to flower. I wonder if I should tip him, because again, it's too soon, but we'll see. Not too many side shoots, <laughs> or actually hardly any. Let me see, only one on the bottom. Uh, because I did not tip this guy. Uh, once you tip the top, you take the top off, they start to grow side shoots. All right, let me show you the other tomato scooch over the peppers here. So this guy is, I'm going to read the label, um, pineapple tomato. So on January 5th, he's doing good also. I did not tip him. He's growing nicely. Um, again, he's, they're not, um, um, my cat is scratching. <laughs> um, it, they're not growing as tall as the black from uh, Tula tomatoes, but um, he's bushing up from the top, which I'm happy about. But not not any side shoots either. Uh, but the nice uh, top is bushing out, and I think he's going to start to flower soon. But I hope he takes his time because it's too early in the season. All right, let me scooch over there to the mystery tomatoes. So these tomatoes were accidentally sewn in with the peppers. Uh, so I do not know what they are, but they're doing great. Um, I cut the tip off of this guy 
and this one is doing even better <laughs> with the growing side shoots look at this one almost every side branch has a side shoot and I'm gonna maybe let him grow like this uh, nice and low to the ground um, and wide with all these side shoots and keep the top short um, see how that goes but this is one of the mystery tomatoes I don't know what it's gonna be but he's growing nice and strong and healthy and this is his um, partner <laughs> another the other mystery one uh, that I also I cut the tip off see it right here a nice strong side shoot is coming out of here and also from every side branch area um, even right at the base uh, uh, so they're growing nice and strong and healthy and I will keep these ones, these two mystery ones, tipped from the top. I'll experiment with them, see how, if they grow, you know, a lot of vol volume of uh, fruit, a lot of tomatoes uh, from the side branches um, and if I keep the top tipped off. Alright, this guy, I don't know if you remember, I had two little scarlet kales in a tiny little yogurt container. I up-potted them. Uh, this is one of them, and he's loving being in his on his own in the little container. Uh, and this one has a cup, plastic cup, very you know deep. He can stay in this cup for uh, easily another month or so till it's time to um, pot him or put him in the ground. Actually, you can actually see a little um, root right there. Uh, and in that little container, they had no room to spread. Poor guys. But he's doing good here. I have his brother on the other side. But let me show you these guys. These are the other okras growing here. I, I sowed them a little bit later than the ones um, I showed you in the orange container over there. But they're growing nicely. Um, okras grow nice and tall. Um, so I'll keep them nice and warm and uh, give them as much light so we can put them in the ground outside. And let me show you the other scarlet kale right here. I actually sowed a whole bunch of them, like maybe 10 to 12 scarlet kales, but only these guys, these two survived in the little container. And this guy is up potted also, and the leaves are growing nice and wide and big because they're loving being um, in their own container. Uh, let's see if we see any roots on this guy, not yet. Okay, but we'll take care of them and in a month or so when the chance of a frost is over we can I'll put them in the ground with the other guys outside and these are all the peppers uh, some of these also I tipped them because they were growing too tall uh, but the stem uh, stem is nice and healthy on the sky what's the matter? I'm busy <laughs> Good boy. All right, let me finish. Let me finish. This is the Anaheim. I think I'm gonna upbut him also. He's uh, all the other guys are in nice long plastic containers, but this one, I mean, he's doing great. Uh, but the roots are reaching the bottom, and they're starting to uh, wind down on the bottom. I'm I'm not happy about that. Um, I want to give him more more room, more space to uh, to spread his roots. Uh, but this guy, I tipped the top also, and he's starting to grow a whole bunch of side shoots also. They're still little, but uh, they're doing good, so I'll experiment see how that goes. Yeah, but I don't want them to grow too, uh, too uh, tall. I'm growing them indoors for another month at least, uh, before I can up-butt them. I started these guys January 5th, so they had a long time to grow indoors. This is the other guy. This is a, a pepper fish, I think, and I tipped him also. It's a tiny little cut, um, and also, I guess that when you do that to them, they uh, they grow a whole bunch of side shoots, and they grow uh, wide instead of tall. Uh, but I'm happy; they look great. And let me show you. <laughs> Some of these, what are these? The uh, Hungarian wax peppers. Oh my god. Um, I didn't tip uh, one of them and he's flowering already. Very nice. I'm loving it. 
and he has a whole bunch of uh, other partners here wanting to flower. Uh, but he's growing nice and long. They're in the long plastic containers also. I have them in these little uh, blue tubs because I don't want the sun to hit the roots um, and burn the roots uh, when they're outside. Um, so the blue containers uh, keep them protected. Uh, the plastic cups uh, are just there to keep them growing deep. And this is the other one. They're getting some spots on their leaves. Um, I don't think it's uh, mildew or anything, just discoloration maybe from uh, getting too much sun while they were in the greenhouse. Um, it gets quite humid in there and the humidity accumulates on the leaves um, and then the sun uh, I think burns the leaves a little bit. It gets really hot in the greenhouse. It was crazy. Listen, listen. He wants attention. And that's uh, Donnie, Adonis, crazy kitty. Um, but let me finish up with the other guys. Uh, let me see. So this is the other pepper fish. I tipped the top also. I cut it and he's starting to grow little baby side shoots. Uh, so we'll see if that helps them grow more peppers or make them sturdier. Um, um, maybe they won't be uh, bothered by the wind much. Uh, if they're shorter, but we'll see. And over there, these are growing also with a lot of side shoots. And this guy has flowers also. Did I tip this guy? Yeah, nope, this one I did not tip. Um, but on his own, he's he um, split through the top into a Y. And he has one side shoot growing here, and one side shoot growing here. And already he has... Um, uh, buds that want to flower and actually each uh, side ch side branch is growing a side branch also so cute and this is the tall guy over here uh, he he branched out also on his own and then the branches the side branches have side branches and he's full of flowers also buds I'm so happy with these. I know I started early, January 5th, sowing these guys, but I could not wait to start. And then it, it's a lot of work, but, um, you know, keeping them warm um, and watching out for them because they're not getting the amount of uh, sun that they need to get. So I've been giving them artificial light, uh, but they're doing great. But it's, a, a, you know, extra effort for them, but, oh my God, definitely worth it if it's, I'm going get, to be getting uh, peppers and tomatoes early. And I'm going to be sowing the other more more peppers and tomatoes and all kinds of vegetables later on. I didn't show you these guys. I love these guys. They're getting a little overcrowded. They weren't before. Two weeks ago they were doing great. But they're in those long cups also. These are the chocolate habaneros. I have two in each cup. And the leaves are uh, growing even uh, wider and thicker and bigger. They're growing a little bit taller. They were too low to the bottom of the soil. Uh, but they're growing taller now. I didn't tip these guys at all. Because uh, they weren't growing tall. But oh my god, I'm loving the way the leaves look. Nice and broad and uh, healthy green and wide. Like the, you can't even see that there are two plants uh, in each container. Uh, but these are, are not flowering yet. But I think very soon they will. And I think it's time to separate them also. They're starting to overcrowd each other. It'll be fun separating their roots. But yeah, I'm loving the soil. I amended the soil for everything this year. And they, these guys are growing so quickly, all of these, um, that I can't keep up. It's such a different experience from last year. There you go. So we'll um, apart these uh, or move e each one to each, uh, its own container. Um, but le let me um, end the video right here for now as I'm going to um, empty out these cups, dump everything in here, uh, mix it all up and um, re-amend the soil and I'll plant everything. We'll come back and uh, see all the other things I'm going to be sowing today. Alright, thanks so much you guys for watching. Hope you're keeping warm and enjoying the 
the weather um, today is Easter so again happy Easter to everyone and plant away take care bye bye